Hello, my name is Eric from the Spoon Fork Hut Kitchen. Today we are going to shop at the Lily Oriental Market. And I'm so excited because the Lily Oriental Supermart allow me to film inside to show you guys the what ingredient that I usually use for the cooking. I usually cook with the fish sauce, oil the sauce, or all the curry paste, all the vegetable. You guys might don't know this ingredient very well. So now inside the Lily uh, Oriental Market, we'll show you everything. Here and now I inside the Lily International Market, mm -hmm. and this is uh, Jennifer, the main daughter, to own for the owner. So she allow me to film inside the Lily Market to show you any ingredient. <laughs> well, Lily is so excited to have Siri here with us today, and we're excited to see what she comes up with. All the fresh produce here, the one that we use, we use for cook Asian food, um, they have a lot of ingredients you might not find inside the grocery store. Uh, example, the green papaya, a Thai chili, or some durian, and a lot of vegetables. I want to show you the everything that you might not find in the grocery store. For example, uh, this banana, I use for one recipe, the five banana the Thai fried banana. We use the, the, in Thailand, we usually use this banana. Okay, and this is Thai egg pan that I usually cook for the curry. I put in the curry. How you gonna shoot it? You gonna shoot the, they have the long on the top here. That's one, the young one, and it tastes good. And this is the fresh young coconut from Thailand. Gonna be one of my uh, future recipe. At least uh, I pick up the less jalapeno or less fennel for gonna be our the next recipe that I'm gonna show you um, the sweet and chili fish. Here, this one if you make kimchi the Korean daikon but the one that I want to show you but the one that I want to show you in my recipe in the soup I only use this one I usually put in the soup when I make a soup that give you very sweet flavor being a very nice flavor they call Chinese daikon but um, I think I believe like a lettuce like a Asian lettuce I use this one for our pad thai. Can you can use this one for pad thai recipe or pho or noodle soup? Also, they have the egg noodle for another recipe. And this one, I love this. This one I use for pad thai recipe. Here, this is the green papaya, the one that we use for the papaya salad. I need ginger. This is a, a Chinese broccoli, uh, one of my ingredients. Uh, I love to eat this. One of my I, I cook this with the oyster sauce for the dim sum, but this one can go a lot with the ingredient also. Okay, and then when you pick your fish, and they will give you the good service too. They will clean for you, or they will let you pick what number that you like. You can, they will clean for you, whatever you want to. You want to keep all, or you want to just them to clean the outside. I want them to just clean for me the outside, for when we go home, it's easy to cook. <laughs> I 
I like this. The fish snack. This is my one of my favorite in Thailand. Fish snack. I know it's fishy, but I love fish. So this is from Thailand too. So popular. It's Thai seaweed. They have a lot of. Now they have a lot of flavor for you. Spicy, not spicy. This this are all Thai, all Thai snack. Yeah, it's all Thai snack. I love to cook, I know, but this is uh, one of my favorite soup too from Thailand. So I have to pick up all this sometimes. It can be my quick soup. They have a lot of um, favorite for you to choose. Spicy or pork favorite or spicy favorite and they all different. They even have Pad Thai, the mama band. I not get any money for promote uh, all this product, all this band. But uh, I just want to show you this. Um, uh, my favorite band that I, I usually eat and this all the fish sauce for the Thai cuisine we only use the fish sauce for the salt in it but the, the band that I usually use is the, I use the, this band the squid band is one of uh, this one is my favorite fish sauce that I use for the cooking and again I not get any money or anything from the band but I just want to let you know this uh, um, I usually use this fish sauce. I got a pork shoulder. I gonna do the garlic uh, pepper, garlic. I use the pork shoulder, so I got a good price for the pork too, and the beef, and I got a. Um, make some soup and uh, I got the the spring roll wrap I gonna make some spring roll also and I got the this one I gonna make the Singapore steak noodle so I pick up this and this uh, oyster sauce uh, all the Thai stir fry only put oyster sauce so this is a band that I usually use uh, a lot the when you buy oyster sauce you uh, important for you to look all the ingredient too uh, try to look for the the one they uh, use the real oyster, not just the oyster favorite. So that's why I picked this band as being one of my favorite for oyster sauce. This is the chili paste, the uh, uh, Thai ingredient. They put a lot. For me, I put in the tom yam kung for the tom yam kung recipe or Thai tom yam soup. You will see they give you the sweet and spicy flavor and the chili oil give you a very nice flavor and texture. And this is seasoning soy sauce, the golden mountain band that I use all the time, every stir fry that I will use this one. So yeah, this one my favorite. The same thing, they have a different, but this one is my favorite. So I'm gonna get one this. Asian food use a lot of soy sauce. So now I holding all three different kinds of soy sauce. The first one is the back soy sauce. I use for the stir fry a lot. I will use the back soy sauce for the stir fry. Okay. With the next one, this is called thin soy sauce. So we use thin soy sauce for soup, for chicken broth or for the soup when you make some soup because so you not get the soup as dark and not gonna look nice with the dark color. So we use the thin soy sauce for the soup. Okay. And next one, sweet soy sauce. This one, they mostly use with the um, Appetizer, they always make the dipping sauce with the sweet, sweet soy sauce because they adding the sugar already, so it's sweet and thicker. So for appetizer, we use the sweet soy sauce. And this is two sila cha sauce, the from Thailand. If you want to try the original sila cha sauce, we have sila cha panit or sila cha ban. It's just from Thailand. If you want to try the original flavor, Lily International Market. They have all different idol, different sections. So now I stand uh, in front of the Thai, Thai idol. They have India, they have Japan, Korea, they have all the Southeast Asian. I like to shop here because they have all the Asian ingredients that I need. Now I done shopping and I gonna go home and cook with all these ingredients. Watch the next two videos and let's see what I gonna make for the recipe. 
I want to say a big thank you for the owner, Meng, and his daughter, Jennifer, to allow me to film inside the Lily Market. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe, and you will see me with the next video. Thank you!